Hello, and welcome back to the Orange Podcast. Uh, today's podcast, I didn't wish that I had to make, but I felt that I should make it. Um, so I was, I was making, uh, I was in the process of making a new video. I was just taking like a little break. I was checking on YouTube and all like that, and I saw my recommended that there is kind of this new story. Um, the video is. Um, by YouTuber Observe, so I, because the headline kind of like, you know, uh, intrigued me or it just like got my attention. It's, it's a, um, fake by language and all kind of, like, like it was just kind of the first one and I saw there was like a dog in it. I'm like, oh, okay, uh, hopefully this isn't like bad. Hopefully this is like, you know, something bad, but it's something bad. So, family vloggers, which I will probably do in the Hinge podcast that soon, of family vloggers, uh, used to nice their dog. Um, and this is coming from Vulture, the Vulture, or something like that. This is like the first uh, story I could really find, or like the top one. Uh, so, here's like the new story. Uh, there is one thing that could get the internet all of this riled up dogs. YouTubers Nikki and Dan Philippi, it's spelled like, I think it was like Philippines, but without the E's, re- uh, revealed they euthanized their nine year old uh, Bull Terrier Bowser. So, nine, so that's nine year, human years, but it's 63 years, uh, dog years. Um, and an ins- in a YouTube video on Monday, after an incident in which Dog bit their one-year-old son Logan. The dog react to Logan taking food from him. What's this thing? You don't take food away from dogs. I mean, like, like, I mean, like, I mean, like, like, say if it's like in like a bowl or something like that. But yeah, but say if it's like, oh yeah, say if you give kind of like them like a pizza crust, like the full thing, and you try to take it away from it, they will try to like, attack. I mean. That happened really with like with my uh, dog Ollie in the first couple, of, first two-ish kind of years. Uh, like and he would have been just like you know two in human years, but still, um, yeah, just like doing that. Um, but now like you know we really went to like I mean he's been growing up, so he's like you no, know, he's not do that. I'm sorry if I'm speaking a little bit low. I am tired. Yeah, I mean I know I say that, but this time it's just. Uh, so I think it's making it a new video. Um, yeah, so the couple said, but the injury wasn't bad. That's literally what it says. And the son had a little mark. So here's the thing. So, say for, so years ago, uh, a neighbor's grandson who was like not like, was like, I don't know, about like my age. Still kind of like that. I mean, like, not my age now, but, like, we're kind of the same age then. Um, he was attacked by another neighbor's uh, pit bull. And he literally had to have, like, windows wrap around. Not like a cast, but, like, you wanted to cast for, like, more, like, not like, you know, broken bone, but more broken kind of skin and all like that. Uh, the dog was euthanized. I hate when, you know, I didn't... S- so here's the thing about euthanization. Is that, like, with this, is that it's, like, uh, the dog really tastes blood. It could get yeah, attacked again. I'll put that in. Like, uh, a couple years ago, before I moved into a condo, uh, my other my dog on my dad's side, uh, Chloe, she was attacked. Who she is a, uh, a Chihuahua like mix, so she's like small. Was attacked by her neighbor's dog, who barked almost fucking all the time. Like no matter like no matter what, like I mean, like it would be like like a peaceful Saturday afternoon. And then it'll just be like barking, like all the time. Yeah, and yeah, so that dog attacked uh, my other dog, and the dog, I mean, the dog wasn't really big, but it was like bigger than her. So they gotta use a nice kind of dog because that dog really tastes blood. But when it's just like not like a mark on it, on like the sun, it's like, yeah, because a couple weeks ago, yeah, like the, uh, not last Saturday, but the Saturday before that. Um, I was doing my EcoScout project, and it actually got it done. Yeah. So, um, so during your EcoScout project, you're basically controlling me. You get to tell the adults what to do, 
like that. So when the uh, younger scouts, like uh, I think he's like about twelve or something like that, um, he asked his dad if he could go to the dog park. I mean, like I didn't think like he, I mean, he was also supposed to kind of ask me because I mean, even though like he asked his dad, which you know his dad mostly makes it kind of the rules for him too. I mean, it's like we're trying to do like a job here, and yeah, so he went to the the big dog side of the park. There's like yes, um. And when I went in, they get him because this kid is like smaller than me. I mean, like he's twelve, all that. Um, I mean, like if something happened bad to him, like you know, I'm kind of like also responsible. I mean, like the owners are responsible. I mean, like everything, yeah. And like, and I'm saying just like, yeah, because since I'm responsible, then that means like it's like, oh, yeah, hey, I bail it at something. If say if someone else was like you know like in leader and all like that, and they're responsible, yes, that is also bad. You know, I'm not just in this. Oh yeah, hey, since I was in charge. That mean, that was bad. Oh, yeah, like, if someone else was in charge, oh, I don't care. Yeah, no. So all these dogs are kind of coming up to me, and they're basically jumping all on, on top of me. It's like, okay, I mean, like, these are big dogs. I mean, these are friendly dogs. I mean, when the dogs kind of, you know, nip me, kind of in the arm, it wasn't that bad. I mean, it just looked like a tiny mark, but it wasn't just, like, bad. I mean, like, it was just like, oh, ow, okay, just walked off. Yeah, so, I mean, that dog, I mean, like, that dog wasn't euthanized. I mean, all that. I mean, the dog was just playing. Yeah, so, back to the news article, um, in the moment, I was just, so this is still, like, I think it's maybe, like, I don't know which, if it's the wife or husband talking, in the moment, I was, I was, I'm thinking, I grew up with the movie Old Yeller, and if you don't know what that is, it's just, like, an old movie that's, like, only has, you know, one memorable scene, and that is just at the end, I think, like, his dog may have rabies, and the boy has to kill the dog, and all about that. Yeah, so, happy Disney movie, yeah, I think it's like, I mean, it was like a book, but I think like Disney adapted it, like, you know, back during the 50s and all kind of that. Yeah, so, I wanted to pick up, pick Bowser up by the back of the neck and take him to the backyard and put him down there. Yeah. The fuck is wrong with you? No, like, literally, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, like you're saying this, hmm. So in that movie, the dog attacks someone, or that way, I like, I don't know, I haven't seen the movie, I don't want to, because you already know what's going to happen at the end, and it's not that fun. It's like, yeah, hmm, so I grew up watching Old Yeller. Hmm, my dog nipped, like, you know, my son. Okay, come here, I'm going to grab you by the back of the neck, and I'm just going to kill you. It's like, because in Old Yeller times, uh, let me look up. Cause, yeah, because yeah, because Odeo was in eighteen sixties. There weren't needles like you know to uh chemicals that you know put your dog down and that's how actually how to do that. Yeah, no. Um Yeah, so um Odeller is bitten while saving his family from a rabid wolf. The son is uh, faces a hard decision that he must kill the dog after the fight with the wolf, which is decides he cannot risk old dealer becoming sick and turning on his family. So it's like, yeah. I mean, old yeller, like, you know, was basically, like, you know, saying this, hey, hey I'm going to save my, fi like, you know, my family from this rabid wolf that could kill them. Yeah, I mean, like, 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 and they killed him, like, you know, because he's going to get sick and he probably is going to turn on the thing. And, yeah, so that's like this, hmm, yeah, so that's what happened in the movie. Hmm, this dog nipped my son, doesn't really have any signs of rabies, he isn't, like, you know, in the thirst for blood. Yeah, I'm just going to go kill him, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, oh, yeah, so, so, so this is the husband saying, um, adding that Bowser had injured other dogs in the past, well, I mean, it's a, it's a big dog. About that, um, they claim the Humane Society told them rehoming, which is because it's like you know, like re obedience school, uh, would be impossible. So they used a new euthanasia service to put him down at home. In addition, the YouTube video Nikki Filipino posted an Instagram slideshow of photo shoots with Belzer before his death, which include photos of the dog with the child. Instagram account has since been private. Yeah, so, um, 
Yeah, so this is um, th this is like a tweet from like someone else. I it's Def Noodles. Um, this is awful influencer Nikki Filippi outraged fans by bring, putting her dog uh, putting down her dog because he bit her her son. Many saying she could have rehomed pet instead of ending his life. One person said some dogs can't live with kids, but that doesn't mean they shouldn't be allowed to live. Yeah, it's like, I mean, because 2016, my dog, Olivia, she was dying of cancer. Um, I still kind of regret that day because I was just basically home from school because I didn't want to, you know, go to school when basically they were going to put down, like, you know, my dog. And then, I the, the day, the reason why I regret it is because I spent most of the time, like, you know, in the other room watching TV instead of being, like, you know, with my dog. Yeah, so, I mean, they were going to put her down, um, but she died before the doctors came. And it's sad because, I mean, here's the thing. Whenever a human dies in a movie or like this, meh, I mean, unless for something very gruesome. When a dog dies, you're like, oh, yeah, sure. I mean, there is a, um, a website called Does the Dog Die? And it isn't just saying like this, oh, wait, so they only just made like a, this website only just say if a dog dies in the movie. No, like there's other things like oh, bones breaking, nudity, there's also like other stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, um. Yeah, just, um, I mean, we all cry, basically, during Marley and me, and all that, I mean, yeah, and here's the thing, like, um, I face, like, my sister FaceTime me, because, uh, she's in Hawaii, and she was showing me these, like, seals that are, like, you know, there, um, she says that my spirit animal was, like, a monk seal, which is more, it's like, eh. Um, and I told her about this, and, like, she said, like, oh, yeah, hey, there's another story about, uh, about, um, about them, like, you know, wanting to, uh, adopt, like, you know, a uh, child from Thailand, but, but, like, there's something that, like, they couldn't, like, you know, post pictures of him, make videos of him, for, like, exploring him and all like that, until he said, like, one year or something like that, so they did. So they decide, oh yeah, hey, we're not going to do it. Um, yeah, so yeah, so this is a, I think this, hopefully this is a new story. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And here's the thing: this bitch is a essentials oil, like you know, kind of girl. I mean, my sister. I mean, she's making candles, which that's kind of different. But my sister is one of those like bitches. I like this. So this is supposed to help you, you know, with like, you know, meditating, all of that. So your zodiac sign, it's like, yeah, but here's the thing. If you're one of those people, you know, just, these things are kind of like religion. You don't fucking talk to the, or you don't talk about it. It's, I mean, like, you don't talk about Christianity to someone who's Jewish. You don't talk about something Buddhism to say that you know someone who's a Muslim. I mean, like, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, uh... Yeah, so this is a uh, new story from Sentinental. I can't really like, read that. Um, yeah, last week YouTuber Nikki Philip and her husband faced severe backlash when they revealed that Nikki's uh, revealed to Nikki's 1.3 million subscribers that they were that they euthanized their dog. According to the couple, Bowser, their dog, bit their son after the one-year-old attempted to take some, some of Bowser's food rather than putting in the time to train Bowser or rehome him. I mean, he's 63. I mean, like, it isn't something that's like, oh, yeah, hey, my dog's, like, 12, so I'm kind of, like, you know, older. It's like, no. Yes, I mean, like, it's like, oh, yeah, I mean, like, it's, like, nine years old. I mean, like, what's kind of the point? I mean, like, still, it's like, yeah. Um... Nikki and Dan choose to uh, choose to put him down 
but not before staging a deeply disturbing photo shoot with Bowser and Logan side by side. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so, um, this is a tweet from Kiering, it's a K E R R I G A N. Um, on today's episode of Influers, um, are the real pandemic, Nikki Philippe, like, you know, time to go, put down her dog for biting her kid, but not before she has a photo shoot with the dog inches away from the kid that allegedly bit and needs to put it down. Fuck you. I mean, like, here's just thing, because if the dog can, like, bit like, the child, and the dog was still trying to attack on the child, it's like, okay, yeah. But when you're basically just, like, sitting, like, you know, when the child's basically sitting next to the kind of dog, and the dog's like, like, I see the kind of dog right now, I'm not going to gonna play the other picture, because, one, I don't really know kind of how to, two, if I get a copyright, but the dog, I mean, the dog looks happy, I mean, the son's face is blurred out in kind of like this, because, I mean, like, it's like a one-year-old child, I mean, I think you should, you really always have to, like, you know, blur out kind of like your little kid's photos, and, I mean, faces, and, like, you know, for... Yeah, so I mean, like the, like, the dog is, like, looking happy, I mean, the dog doesn't have any, like, you know, like, they're so blind, I mean, like, the dog just looks like this, like, yeah, it's a hot day, oh, yeah, it's a good day, yeah, I mean, like, you know, like that, yeah. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, what the, I think the Instagram, like, kind of thing he says, uh, McTarrison, I'm so grateful for our time with you. It's, I think it's, like, maybe Bowser. Um, you were a middle horse, a shark, a bear, a mouse, a dinosaur, a dance best friend, and all of all of one. So I'm guessing that they're meaning like um, Halloween costumes. Um, you made me laugh. You made me cry. You destroyed my property, and you kept and you also kept it safe. Lol, he, you kept me feeling safe. Yeah. Hey, hello. It's like yeah. Thank you for all this thing, <laughs> all this funny stuff. Yeah, come on, bring on a needle. Yeah, like it, like oh yeah, let's kill this dog now. Yeah, it's uh like here's kind of like an Instagram uh story kind of thingy. Uh, thank you everyone for your prayers and messages. You have no idea how much this meant to me and Dan. I'm sad to say that we're we're grieving hard this last weekend. I'll be uploading a video tonight explaining what happened. Uh, not just. Yeah. Oh, actually, I made a mistake. Uh, the video wasn't from Observe. I mean, I did kind of watch that one. But it was actually from Jamari Speaks or Jamari. Th that's where the first video is. Sorry, I just, I'm tired. I mean, like, I thought, because it was this one. Yeah, so. Yeah, so this person's just like a fucking piece of shit. I mean, like, she's basically probably, um, I mean, she's probably just, like, a, um, I mean, she's probably just, like, a clout chaser, you know, so like, like, someone's like this, like, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, no, uh, yeah, so there's more, uh, criticism of Nikki and Dan's decision, quickly transcended Reddit forums, drama channels, and Twitter fodders and garnering negative attention from mainstream media outlets around the world. Well, not really. I mean, mainstream media is mostly say like CNN, you know, like ABC, Wall Street Journal, all kind of. Mostly, all kind of the articles are on are just I mean, like are from like those um, are just from like pop culture kind of websites. Yeah, just I'm gonna go. Uh, criticism uh, garnering attention from mainstream outlets around the world. Uh, though many are shocked and disgusted, those who have followed the Nashville-based creator source, this is what Nashville will be, are not entirely surprised since making her YouTube debut back in 2010 with the November favorite video, favorites video, Nikki has been using on concerns from fans who feel the influencer uses her platform to spread controversial messages to her millions of followers. Here's a look up back at some of the problematic behavior of all these years. Self-diagnosed eating disorder. After years of sticking to positive, upbeat, lifestyle content, Nikki opened up about her eating disorder in 2005 and sat down the video. Despite the sensitive subject matters, fans took issues with the video as Nikki seemed to self-diagnose, give 
vague recovery advice share so th this basically just like her saying this like oh yeah hey so i used to have yeah so i wasn't really given like you know or like diagnosed with immune disorder i just self-diagnosed like you know like it, like it's kind of something people saying this oh yeah hey i'm depressed when it's like are you though or are you just like you know sad or are you just like you know like i mean depression is like a real thing i mean like i mean like yeah I and mean, it's just like sad bizarre marriage advice Now we're going into that one. It's like uh, Nikki made headlines back in 2017 when she revealed to her friends that she has stopped speaking to her husband Dan for two weeks without notice in an effect to fix their marriage. In a video titled Why I Didn't Speak to My Husband for Two Weeks, Nikki said uh, she gave Dean the sun treatment as symptom to strengthen their emotional connection. Uh, yeah, that's kind of just stupid. Because the space is in like this, oh yeah, hey, so uh, how to, I mean, this, like, I mean, uh, I mean, this kind of sounded like, oh yeah, hey, so we need to fix something by not, like, you know, by not attempting to fix it. Like, we're just like, gonna ignore the situation, just see if we get fixed. It's like, oh yeah, hey, we need to fix it this wall. So, so let's just ignore the wall and it'll fix itself. Okay, uh, promoting MLM at MLM is, um, in 2018, the human under fire for promoting essential oils from multi level. Marketing schemes, MLM, young living, predatory in nature. The MLM because this model. Okay, so this species like pyramid schemes all that. Um, yeah, even though every MLM creator is created equal, young living has been one of the most controversial space given the founders con artist history and lack of scientific. Okay, adoption controversy. So this is the one I was talking about. Okay, um, I'll go into that one in a second. Uh, spreading COVID-19 misinformation into facts rhetoric. Forward to 2020, Nikki began using controversials, clickbaiting through her content, namely one controversial, my virus story, when she talked about her experience being sick with the, with the virus years ago in video. Said she and her sister, were sick, who was also sick with the virus, used high dose direct vitamin C, secure. Okay, so just basically, like, you know, like, her being an anti -vaxxer. Okay, promotes all lives matter messaging. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Here's what, yeah, it's like, I can, I can and I will support good cops. I can and I will support victims, bad cops. It's possible to do both. Okay, yeah, but when you have like a thin blue line flag, it's like, that's kind of stupid. Okay, uh. New Wigger George Floyd murders. Uh, Nikki uh, shared Instagram story felt all lives matter. Yeah, I mean, like, when you say all lives matter, it's like, yeah, like, because here's the thing, because with all lives matter, it's like the thing you're saying this, oh, hey, so I'm in last, but life mattered. Hitler's life mattered. You know, like, all these bad people's lives mattered. Okay, yeah. Uh, despite Nikki's continued problematic behavior, she's choosing to ignore public criticism and all that. I mean, like, she did, like, I mean, like, on the news video, she did, like, you know, turn off likes and dislikes, and she did turn, I and mean, she has turned off comments for all of her videos, which kind of just seems stupid. I mean, like, it's just thing, because a lot of times, like, you know, like, if you turn off, like, comments, I mean, say you're on political videos, and you say it's like, oh, yeah, hey, like, the government's like, you know, videos say, like, you know, something that's, like, from the White House, something like that, it's like, okay, yeah, I kind of get that, because, you know, like, I mean, like, because they're just gonna turn into a shit storm, which is like, no, you're wrong, no, fuck you, no, fuck you, you're wrong. I mean, like, a couple months, months ago, uh, like, my, the politics stuff, I mean, haven't been to, like, a meeting in a while, I mean, like, you started going back into full-time, like, you know, full meetings, which I've been just not going to, because, like, I mean, even though I have both my shots, like, I want to go home after school and all like that, uh, yeah, plus, like, plus meetings haven't been, like, you know, very, like, good, it's like, Oh, yeah, so we're going to be talking about this board kind of stuff. So, yeah, so uh, they created kind of this thing. I mean, I want to be kind of, you know, in the, the thing they're doing, but they didn't show us me. Like, okay, so you so you literally put, like, I think it's like when the newest kind of new member of some kind of, I mean, I don't know, I forget, at kind of these talking points, but not like me when, like, someone I, yeah. Um, so, so, so basically, I kind of like disliked it and all like that. Uh, I used kind of like both my accounts, my main account and my school account to dislike it. Um, yeah, and then, like, yeah, and then there's, like, other, like, dislikes and all kind of that. I kind of came in, like, I don't know why. I mean, who even, like, did it? I mean, this is, like, a 
unlisted video, so it wasn't like, oh, hey, this actually kind of go in public. Um, they also turn off their subscriber count, which, if you turn off your subscriber count, you're just being pathetic. It's like, yeah. Okay, yeah, so let's do, um, yeah, so, um, Doctor and Controversy, the same year, Nicky, Re Nicky and Dan revealed that Hay started the process of adopting a baby from Thailand. The news was met with excitement from fans. However, two months later, a couple of uploaded videos said, we're not adopting from Thailand anymore. That's just like a Karen thing. It's like, yeah, hey, so I used to do all my adopting from Thailand. And then they did like this thing. So don't adopt people from Thailand. Oh my God. It's like, okay, like, I mean, like, like, I mean you're saying like you're adopting. We're not adopting from Thailand anymore. S seems like something that's like, oh, yeah, shopping. It's like, hmm. How's that Taiwanese girl? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, like, yeah, it doesn't seem too, too ripe yet. I mean, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, so we're going to get, like, the time. Like, no. Okay, uh. In a video, Nikki explained they had uh, stopped the process as they would not legally be allowed to put their baby on social media in the first year they um with their family to put uh, as a per Thai law um this is because adoption takes a year to finalize a fact that both Nikki said we're not okay with and you like, see they're just ways you're gonna like try to exploit kind of this like this yeah hey look at us we're a happy family aren't we yeah just give us like that check mark just give it this money and all kind of like, yeah no I mean yeah see so so say if I get older, say if I was like, you know, 30 something, and me and my wife, you know, we want to adopt someone from like, you know, from another country. And say if I'm like, say like a big YouTuber, kind of like Dan, or I don't know. Like, and say just said like this, oh yeah, hey. Um, oh yeah, hey, you can't put like this kid on like, on social media until it's like one year and all kind of I mean like, okay. I mean like whenever I do say like a social media post, I would just like, you know, not have like, you know, the person in there. Whenever I try to do like a video, I try to like, you know, like, uh. Not have them like around or not not try but actually not have them around. Okay, that's like yeah. Okay, I mean like how is it? I mean like it's just like a year. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So after being denied an exception to this law, the couple decided to adopt from from Korea instead. So north or south? I mean, it's like. It's, uh, instead, making several videos about the process, and then September 2018, Nikki and Dan announced they were no longer adopting from Korea anymore. It's like, so, it, yeah, so, I mean, like, I don't know if it's just, like, this news article or if it's something that they actually said, but they're making it sound like this, oh, yeah, hey, so, uh, don't shop at Korea anymore. Yeah, it's like, don't stop anymore, either as their adoption agency legislation uh, told them they were not. It would not be easy to prove due to the social media presence. As a result, they decided to pursue uh, domestic adoptions in the United States through foster care. They negate the spread harmful information about the U.S. domestic adoption process in the months following her, ch her channel and all that. Yeah, so here's the thing. Yes, there's like a lot of like, you know, like uh, orphans say other countries. But when there's like orphans in kind of your own country, I think you should more like, you know, Adopt from, say, like, you know, your your country before, like, say, like, another one. I mean, like, I, like, I mean, like, I'm not just saying this, oh, hey, buy American, only American, yeah, this is you, or saying, no, I mean, like, it's like, I mean, like, 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 like just think, like, what if there's, like, um, an orphan boy, like, like, he's like, he's like, this, like, oh, yeah, hey, I couldn't get adopted because, you know, because someone adopted, like, you know, a kid from another country. So this is from, uh, USA to t Today. Uh, YouTubers euthanized dog after their child was bit sparking bash backlash from fans. Nikki and Dan Philippe are facing criticism after they, they revealed they put their they put uh, they put down their dog Bowser at their bit the child. Uh, popular parent parenting YouTubers Nikki and Philippe. And Dan, I, I, I'm not fucking reading that like last thing anymore. Mm -hmm. Are facing criticisms from their fans and followers that they're sharing that they had euthanized their nine year old uh, dog. Uh, the pair lives in Nashville and said an emotional video shared on May 3rd 
there have been uh, multiple instances over the years where they where they would uh, just fight some putting down their dog uh, uh, and that the incident that Dan called defensive Dan and Nikki uh, did not respond multiple requests for a comment from today no just USA today um, oh yeah so uh, for the video they had the the classic Oh my god, our sad faces, and we're just like that, it's like, oh my god, like, like this is basically like just fake crying, it's all called that. Okay, it happened in a way that almost didn't matter, that doesn't matter, because the end result was the same, but the spirit of telling the story is that it wasn't like Bowser attacked Logan, Logan tried to take food from him, Nikki explained in the video, but Logan was serious, wasn't seriously hurt, he had left a mark on his face from Bowser's teeth. Yeah, because that's what's gonna happen. Like, you know, stuff's gonna leave Mark. I mean, I mean, say if the dog, like, you know, attack how you can, like, rip basically his face off, just like a huge chunk of it. Okay, yeah, then I get it. But, but when the child wasn't severely hurt and anything like that, and the dog wasn't trying to keep, like, attacking him, it's like, yeah, then you're just a fucking bitch. Yeah, um, Dan said earlier, the instant Logan had also hurt the dog's ear, leaving it swollen for nearly a month. The incident allegedly left Bowser with a scar. Yeah, so did you fucking, like, you know, uh, oh yeah, hey, so, uh, the kid basically attacked the dog. Come here, kid, so we're gonna set this needle on you full of chemicals, so yeah, we're gonna put you down. No. It's like, come on. Okay, uh, the, pe the couple, uh, said in their video that Bowser was an angel who could get Rowdy with permanently cha changed after he was attacked by another bull terrier, which belonged in the key to the parent to their parents. Bowser was attacked when he was puppy and never really talked about it that much. But big turning point in Bowser's personality. Not really prior to the attack, Bowser could go to dog parks. Uh, Bowser just. Palmer General, and then after the attack, it just triggers something in him. Well, no fucking shit, when you're busy, I mean, like, say if you're attacking a shopping mall, do you want to go back to a shopping mall? And I sound like a fucking, like, you know, boomer, like, yeah, hey, let's go to a shopping mall, let's go to that clothes store that you like, Sunny. It's like, no. Like, I mean, like, if, say, if you're talking in a mall, we you, we you want to go to a mall again? No. Say you're attacked that, say, like, you know, I don't know, like, um, a clothes store. Do you want to still go to, like, that, a clothes store? No. Yeah, no. I mean, like, like, and, and it's like a dog world where they don't really have, like, you know, human like instincts where we know, like, oh, yeah, hey, this is kind of all right. No. Um, yeah, the, the couple said that while they loved Bowser, it had become difficult to care for him once they had their son. They... They also said they were planning to move soon and already had begun to have conversations about what to do with Bezos since there's let to go into transporting him. Okay, so where would they gonna be moving? I mean one, they're going to, like Nashville. I mean like I like like I mean like I saw I mean the house looks like nice. Not like that. Uh two. I guess it's kinda like an old dog, but here's the thing. My mom Fucking raised me like alone. I mean, maybe with like a little bit of help with my sister with dogs. Yeah, seriously. I mean, like I, I don't know about like with my sister. Yeah, but seriously, I mean, like after like you know my parents were divorced. Like I mean, they got divorced. I mean, I don't know when they got divorced, but they my parents have been divorced all my life. I mean, it was only like I forget. I mean, because like, my mom did have like I mean, like I forget because this when um. Yeah, I just need to kind of get back to this, uh, because I need to text my mom some stuff. So, my mom dated a guy named Todd in 2004, so I was one. Um, I had to redo this clip because I said that I was four when I, because I thought I was 2007, but no. Um, yeah, so, she started dating this guy named Todd. I don't, I don't have a memory of seeing him coming over, I only have just one memory of just going to his house was like a apartment kind of like or a condo kind of like thingy um 
like one Christmas. But here's the thing. I mean, they granted, yes, my dad. I mean, I did also have. I mean, I did also go to my dad's, but it was like. So, I mean, it's like a single parent also, like, you know, raising, say, a kid that's going into for, uh, kindergarten. So, I managed to put now. So, my daughter, I mean, not, not my daughter, my sister, who is, you know, five, who's five years older than me. So, yeah. Okay, so um, here's a tweet from Abby. It's uh, ABB3RZ07. Um, it takes a certain kind of shitty uh, to put down your dog um, after it bit your baby who was grabbing the dog's food, but it's another level of stupid to think. Uploading an emotional video talking about how tragic it was a good idea. Nicky and Dan should be ashamed. Uh, here's one from Lauren. It's a L R U R D I Y. This is a uh, checkmark one. For three days, the story of Nikki unnecessarily euthanizing her bull terrier was surely. Sh has truly shaken me to the core. It makes me sick. Please hold them accountable for this decision. Uh, some were concerned um, about one moment in the video where Dan said he thought of the movie Old Yeller where they put the dog down. And in the moment, I'm thinking, I grew up with the movie Old Yeller. Now... There's a film series? What the fuck? Oh, let's see. Yes, yeah, so Old Yeller was from 1957. Well, like the, the, the movie. And then... Oh, here's a... Uh, yeah. Yeah, so, I don't know how the Dan is, but it's like, yeah, um, here to find, oh yeah, uh, in the moment I'm thinking group of dudes, and I want to put Bowser, um, pick up Bowser, put him in the back of the neck and take him to the barn, uh, and put him down, Dan said around the 16 minute mark of the video. Here's a tweet from CatMilf, uh, at ShutUpChelsea. Uh, the whole part of Old Yeller makes me nauseous. Uh, here's a tweet from Katie Ann. Uh, Kat K A T I E E E A N N N N N. Uh, I had to kind of do like these things so like you know so you can. Um, yeah. God damn, no, I don't want to go to a tweet. Um, yeah, he mentioned in the video that he watched Old Yeller and wanted to drag the dog out back right then and do it himself. It's really gross, definitely one of the most off-putting things I ever heard in the whole scenario. Cause, yeah, because for Old Yeller, it's like they're in like a barn, and these people, I mean, they look like, you know, I don't know if they are at a barn or something like that. But just think, if you heard, say, like a gunshot in say, the middle of the day, or something like that, and you see, and you just see, like, you know, like, oh, boom. Your neighbor shot their own dog. Are they criticized cop for having a photo shoot with the dog before euthanizing? I mean, like, just saying how, like, like, shitty that is. Like, you know, basically, like, that's like, oh, hey, like, look at this, we're all famous. Oh, yeah, I killed a dog now. Okay. This girl, Nikki, uh, at Basic Bitch Rosa. This girl, Nikki, uh, sipping coffee and chatting about putting her dog of nine years down in the wild. She complains that the dog nipped the child. And then does a youth nation first shoot with the dog tension inches away from the, from the child. Uh, people do anything for clicks. One person wrote in part on today's episode of Influence or, in, or the epidemic at Nikki put down her dog for biting her kid, and but not before photo shoot with dog inches away from the you know uh, the the kid the dog allegedly bit and needs to put down. Some users refer to the video where the couple appears to tease Bowser with their other dog Zoe. One clip shows uh, Dan's small dog around. Can't get a of the film because, uh, not that. Uh, 
Other YouTube creators include Jeffree Star, and Rachel Baller, and Justin Hill. I don't know who. I only know who Jeffree Star is. I don't know who the fuck the other ones are. Her says a couple on social media. Star, who has several dogs, said it was a hard to wrap his uh, his head around um, a couple of sections. Just Jeffree Star tweeting. Uh, it's hard to fathom, um, and how could someone kill their own family dog and make content off of it? They need to be investigated as a dog owner who animals are my life. This is hard to wrap my head around. Um, earlier in the video, Nikki said that she had expected backlash for decision. Well, no fucking shit. I mean, I mean, I was kind of saying this, like, hmm. Killing my dog for just snipping my kid and making content off of it and try to get money off it. I think I'm ever gonna get backlash off of it. But yeah, um. This is not a decision we came up, uh, we came to lightly. Oh, uh, yeah, I think you came over there quickly. You know, when they were first talking about this and just how this is was gonna go on the fold and having conversations about it, one of the things that I said. Most people aren't going to get it. People aren't going to be. People are going to get upset. And there's a spot. There's no one going to get, be upset as I am. Okay, bitch. You literally just said that you were, you know, willing, just right there and there, like no thought about it, just going to take the dog by its neck and kill it. Okay, that's the end of uh, the article. I am doing this right before bed, so I'm going to be uh, sleeping on this, so I, I'm going to do more of this video, yeah, because these are taking a lot, this video is taking a lot more time than usual, uh, yeah, I'm just going to sleep on this, going to think about it all throughout school, I mean, I can't, I, I mean, I can't believe I, like, because this was from last week. And I know, like, I know, like, you know, like, not everything's gonna, just gonna happen, like, oh, yeah, hey, the the day that it happens, say, like, this, is gonna hugely blow up, it's gonna, say, like, last, like, it's just gonna, like, do one in two days at max, it's gonna start up, it's, like, you know, like, it's, I mean, it's basically, just, like, you know, like, you're lighting a match through, like, a long fuse, like, a powder keg, it's not gonna, like, you know, automatically, like, you know, blow up, but it's gonna take some time, so, uh, yeah, that's it for now. I'll probably have more later. So, time has passed. I don't know how long since, you know, I stopped making kind of video last night. Um, yeah, I mean, I went, slept on it. I went to school and just did barrel on that. Really no new news stories have come up. I mean, there's some of them there just like, you know, a couple hours, like, like you know, but, uh, some of them are just in like other languages. Yeah, it's just a bunch of them there. I'm guessing it's because probably like these ones are getting on to like you no know, trying to get on to like a hype train. Uh, yeah. Yeah, um Yeah, just I mean Yeah, um Here's one from the star, which I don't know, like, I think it's something maybe in the, I don't know, like, not in like the US, but it's, uh, um, yeah, it's, here's, I guess, a YouTuber influence, YouTube influencer couple has been ambassador on social media for putting down their dog after they bit their infant knife. Yeah, uh, yeah, but Nikki and, her husband uh, said in a YouTube video and Instagram post that after the incident, which was not the first time the animal had shown aggression, it was too old to be adopted and untrustworthy to keep. Where, not really, I mean, there's still people that can, like, you know, want to, like, still, like, you know, uh, all of that. Um, too, like, in an Instagram post, you know, that dog is, like, you know, like, like, and find it is, and, like, you know, trying to, like, you know, has any like evil in his eyes or trying to like, do it? I mean, yeah. Um, this is a thing for them. Bowser was the ultimate cuddle bug, but
but you wouldn't necessarily know that if he just dropped by our house. I mean, yeah, because dogs are all like that. I mean, whenever I have my friend Will over, my dog, oh, like, he just jumps on, on, like, all over him. Like, you know, like, he's a happy season because that's what dogs do. I mean, like, they're either just like this, oh, hey, hey, someone new that's coming. I don't know them. I'm probably just going to, like, you know, defend, like, you know, the people that, like, you know, adopt me and all that. Or they're going to be this, oh, wow, a new person. Yay, this is super exciting. And, yeah, it's like, he acted crazy. The family and life uh, wrote on Instagram, Bowser had an aggressive side that reared us ugly. Had a few times over the years, and recently he bit Logan after a loose council. We decided it was time for the pass peacefully on. It's like, yeah. I mean, that's like, like, I mean, like, passing peacefully on, like, if you pass peacefully on, that means, like, you know, you're just like this, oh, yeah, hey, I'm just gonna, like, you know, like, I mean, not, yeah, um, well, many online chastised, uh, the couple for not trying to have it adopted, uh, Philippe and that two, that two saying that the Ben told he was too old. Okay, so this is just the first time that the dog kind of showed aggression to like the kid, and the kid took food away from my dogs. And some dogs are like, "Hey, this is my food. This is kind of you know like my territory thing. Don't take this away." Um, yeah. Um, and he's like, I mean, save it's like, oh yeah, he just the fifth time saying in a couple months like, okay, yeah, maybe like that. But then say this is like, the first time though, like, the base like this. Oh, he kind of nipped our child. Okay, let's kill him. Yeah, um, this has been the hardest decision we have ever made. The 33-year-old told her 1.29 million followers on YouTube. Thank you to everyone who messaged me with kind words of encouragement and prayers. I truly appreciate. Is a, uh, I truly appreciate is more than you. Than you know, I don't have the time to respond to everyone, but just want to, but just want you to know that. For mostly, for most of his life, he has been extreme. Uh, he has been extreme dangerous and outside the walls of my house. And I like, oh, like, oh, no, this is the uh, the guy saying it not very well. Nikki said she had a long, how to hope for Bowser simply need to find the right home, but learning from, which, I mean, cause here's the thing. Dogs. I mean, like, dogs are kind of, you know, type of animal. I mean, I'm not, like, a dog expert, but this is kind of, you know, my experience with dogs. You need to be a boss around a dog, or else the dog will walk all over you, because here's the thing. With my mom's boyfriend, is that he always lets my dog all the eve off of his plate. Like, um, for the past week, my mom has been in Hawaii for my sister's graduation, and just to see, like, you know, her, all that. So, I was basically my mom's boyfriend, like, you know, basically for like a week and every time we basically had like you know food for dinner he would always like you know like let like my dog get off of his plate like i mean like just like kind of like you know like like the pizza and all kind of that i mean like almost like this hey stop and sometimes i have to just pat him on the nose and like just yeah hey stop i mean it isn't like hitting him but it's just like like a little like passing like hey no and yeah, so you, I mean, dogs really like you know show like hey like they follow the leader. They're pack animals. They come from wolves. I mean, they, yeah, they fall from wolves, so they're pack animals. And so you need to be the pack leader. Yeah, I mean, it's be yeah, and so yeah, so I mean, yeah, just I mean like. Here's the thing, I mean, like, with, yeah, just, but after getting counsel from multiple professionals who are with dogs all the time, all of them said that, uh, they say the same thing, okay, so show proof, when, when I'm, like, when someone says, like, 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 when someone says, like, this, oh, yeah, hey, my friend, you know, kind of that, said, said this, like, okay, you don't really see, need to show like proof because it's like, oh yeah, he's like your friend and all like that. But 
but you need to kind of show evidence. Like, I mean, like, I hate it when people are saying this, like, oh, yeah, hey. It's like, it's like, oh, yeah, hey. This voter fraud is like, okay, show evidence. It's like, well, I can't because it's like, okay, then there's no voter fraud. I mean, you're just doing conspiracy thing. Uh, there are definitely times when euthanasia is wanted or that there's no other option. Liv Hagen, the manager of Shelter Behavior Service, Minnesota based Animal Mean Society, Jesus fucking Christ, that's such a long name. Uh, Toward Insider with commenting specific on the people's case. An end of life decision is not something anyone ever wants to do, Hagen said. If it's a case where the animal is truly unsafe, again, making that decision is conclusive with experts and professionals. Then maybe it's an appropriate decision to have to have with the experts are working with, and it's heartbreaking. I, I, I can't read. Yeah, so uh, it's like, come on, like here's a uh, one from Channel Seven News is from Australia. Uh, Two popular parenting YouTubers, I think I'd be here probably, I mean, I forget. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I read this one already, but it's like, yeah, um, I also watched kind of like, um, the video from Observe of the body language, like, it's just kind of showing, like, I hate these people, or like, well, uh, so we have some set, I mean, like, the, I, mean, the, I mean, they start off with the usual apology kind of video, like this. So we have some sad news, and all just like that. Um, I mean, they're kind of showing like fake, like emotion kind of things. Like, oh yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah, I already read this. Yeah, I mean, like, so here's the thing. So, the kid hurt the dog's ear, and it left it swollen for nearly a month. Did you put the fucking kid down? No. If you're something, oh wait, is he human? It's like, yeah, it's also. <sighs> yeah, uh, yeah, all kind of these new news stories are just from like other languages. Let me try to see if I could translate because I have a translator. Uh... Oh, Jesus Christ, no. Uh... This is from Pure People. I don't know what language this is. So, uh, wait. Okay. Oh, so this is French. Uh, these people outraged millions of internet users and discovered or rediscovered that the influencers that had given up adopting because of a surprising reason, a law prevented her from posting photos. Videos of a child on social network. Oh, so this is. What's this from? What's this article from? I mean, like, it, it doesn't show. Oh, so this is from uh, today. Duh. Nope. Don't want that. Nope. God fucking. No, I. Okay, no. Uh, okay, many celebrities have told their experience of adoption. Famous influencers want her to live a better decision. Okay, yeah, you know, I'm not gonna like. So this is probably just the same kind of thing, but it's just like, oh yeah, hey, just different like your language. Okay. Uh, okay, here's one that's actually like uh, that actually like you know like uh. Yeah, unusual act which is harshly criticized on social ne networks. Uh, yeah, so this is a Spanish one, so it's like it's gonna be like a little bit like weird for like you know, because of both people. I mean, main trends uh, they had canceled the adoption. Oh yeah, so oh, yeah, so this is, like enough. You know, so these people are kind of pieces of shit. These are like people that are trying to be like, oh my god, like look at our perfect family. It's like oh, this like no, shut the fuck up. So this is from 
it's a daily news it's snide it's s n y d e so i'm getting yes yeah, so this is a yeah so this is from uh, new york to me uh influencers uh, put the, the um internet bites back funny and all kind of um okay and one news article i really want to read right now but i'm don't want to end it more of like this thing. It's unwelcome ex girlfriend drives SUV to ex boyfriend's funeral. So I'm gonna read that after this. And I'm not gonna make a video on it, and you can read it like yourself. I mean, it's probably gonna get demonetized. A YouTuber influencers couples been lambasted on social media for putting down their dog. When oh, so this is the same thing. Oh, this is So here's like a photo, but it's just like it's like Nikki, whatever the fuck her last. Tens twenty fourth annual Elton John AIDS um, Foundation's Oscar viewing party on February twenty eighth to the sixteenth West Hollywood, California. I want to more like you know, I mean th these people are probably you know pro lifers, but they're like, I mean these people are probably just cloud chasers. I mean like, look at that. Yep. Uh, Yeah, 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 this is like the fucking like, you know, like same thing as the other. Uh. Yeah, um. Yeah, oh yeah, so let me, uh, yeah, so, I'm really, I'm sorry if the, you know, even early in this video, if you kind of like saw, like heard this, but it's like, but now I'm fully kind of, like, you know, more, because, like, yeah, because last night I really had to, like, you know, speed up kind of the process, do the thing, because I was, because uh, dinner was almost on the way, all that, so, so spreading COVID-19 misinformation and anti-vax rhetoric, uh, fast forward to 2020, or go back. I mean, this article is like, uh, you know, say like, uh, you know, Nikki began uh, using coronavirus for clickbait throughout her content, namely one controversial video, "My Virus Story," where she talked about experiences being sick with the virus years ago. Uh, yeah, it's like in the video, Nikki says she and her sister was also sick with her, use high dose informate vitamin C to cure the virus, and seemingly encourage those with sick with COVID nineteen to look into it. Yeah, but this is probably like I me. Mean, it doesn't say which virus she had, but it's like, 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 but, but it's like, okay, so that one probably, you know, yeah. I mean, September 2020, Nikki uploaded a Q and A where she spread misinformation about vaccines, saying those who think anti-vaxxers are crazy haven't done enough research and spoke support of anti-vax. They'll be, I don't know, even encouraging. Then seed out her content. Yeah, so it's just like, and she's just saying, I got um, my second vaccine a couple weeks ago. I still wear a mask in public. I mean, even it's like, you know, because it's kind of the right thing to do. I mean, if you think, like, it's like, oh my god, but, but, like, but mask, I mean, I can't really be it. Like, would you rather want fucking tubes down your neck? Yeah, I mean, I just. Yeah, uh, promoting all lives. My messaging in the wake of George Floyd, Nikki shared in Instagram. Uh, um, felt was it on the way of the All Lives Matter mo movement in effect to discredit the Black Lives Matter happening around the world. Reddit users who allegedly found Nikki's uh, followed and liked posts of alt right commentator Brittany Selner, I don't know, around the same time. Despite Nikki's continuous problematic behavior, she chooses. Oh yeah, so yeah, I already read this. Oh yeah, so that's uh, why I see why. Let me actually look it up there.
Okay, so I'm looking up the channel right now just to see, like, you know. Okay, so, um. Yeah, so they so they were at they were at uh So this is May third that they posted the video. They lost ten thousand uh, subscribers on April twenty ninth. I don't know like why they kinda have it. Um actually yeah, let me actually look up. Like the thing, um, yeah. So on the twenty sixth, uh, no, that that's not the video that I wanted. Yeah, on the twenty eighth, it's a, uh, it's like a breastfeeding kind of video. It's like talking about so I don't know why. Like, um, fast forward to uh. It's basically May 3rd, like, uh, not really, like, any kind of, like, you know, things when that video was, uh, posted, uh, hold on. Um, yeah, so, yeah, May 3rd, yeah, but it was May 7th that it really kind of caught on for some reason. Uh, yeah, and, and yeah, just, yeah, because it just keeps going up and up, um, yeah, I just don't know what's happening kind of like this. Yeah, so daily average are losing uh, 660 subscribers, weekly uh, 4,600, 4, uh, but the views will keep going up, and I'm guessing why, it's because of uh, people kind of going to that video and all of that, uh, I just... Yeah, so now looking at the future projections, Okay, looks like they're kind of going up, but it's like, you know, it's not that much. I know in... I don't know, uh... A month or a couple weeks, this is just gonna all blow over. I mean, like, these people are pieces of shit. I mean... They should just like you know take their other dog away, cause all well, that. Um, yeah, just yeah. So here are my final thoughts. These people are people fucking shit. They should burn in hell. Um, I mean, they should get you know demonetized. I mean, they should just like you know get like taking all kind of money away. Um. I don't think any like harm should go on to them because that's just awful. I mean, like it's just things like this. Oh yeah, hey, let's cause more harm. Let's like, you know, let's set more fire to the situation. Um, the reason why this might be like I know not be like a cancel culture thing because I mean they should get canceled, but it doesn't look like they they do like a lot of like videos like that that they're on say like a huge channel. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why, like, a lot of, like, you know, the, uh, you know, so the only loss, so is, they're out about, like, let me look at the, uh, so that, one, one million two hundred seventy thousand 270,000 right now, but, uh, so they dropped, 
only just about like 30 says 20,000 subscribers and that may be a lot to some people but it's not really when say like oh yeah hey like when like when it had something to be involved with say like you know I'm pretty sure in a couple weeks they're gonna make like, a video like saying this, oh hey we got a new dog and you're like oh my god we're gonna miss this one um there's still gonna be people that are gonna be like you know say like if they then again like you know open up say like the Instagram account like unprivated they're gonna be this oh hey you're a piece of shit all that and I they should do that but what they should not do is you know just like say like this oh hey this is your address let's go attack them no um yeah really fine thoughts is just they shouldn't really have like a dog. They shouldn't have like a dog this because the dog was getting a little bit older. I mean, like they should not have euthanized the dog. They should have gave like, the dog a little bit more chances. Um, they should have waited, say, like you know, like a little bit more time. Like, 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 like say they're saying this. Oh, yeah, hey, let's just more talk this out. I'll get that. Um, because they've been doing, I mean, they've been, like, I mean, this clout, okay, so there's clout just, are like, they're, there's, like, oh, hey, we only have 50,000 subscribers, and then there's, like, very, like, you know, like, just, like, why even, I mean, like, 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 I mean, like, this basically is, like, you know, Jeff Bezos, saying, like, saying, like, this, like, hey, um, like, 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 hey, can you please give me, like, you know, send me some money? Like, you know, like, just, like, regular kind of, just, like, money, like, no tips. It's, like, tips and all kind of that. Like, no. I mean, these people are doing good. I mean, they have over, like, a million subscribers. I mean, the monthly, like, it says here for, like, their uh, estimated monthly earnings is $428 to $6.9,000. Um... I mean, cause a video, cause I know that their more of their videos are gonna kind of get like you know more up and up because of uh, this like I mean, like when we look at their most popular video, oh their most uh, so their most popular was is a uh, their most popular videos are more just like uh. No, what is, yeah, I mean, like, just, it's more just life, kind of, like, you know, uh, routine, like, um, yeah, I thought this would have, like, more things, I mean, I'm guessing it's because people are just gonna be like this, like, eh, yeah, these people are just pieces of shit, I hope they die, like, you know, painful death somehow, or something, like, they're not, like, I take that back, yeah, I mean, like, I just hope that something just, you know, Unlucky happens to them, but like you know, not something that could really cause them harm. Um, I do hope that say like you know, more people unsubscribe from them. I mean, they started their YouTube video channel start in two thousand ten, so not many people are gonna be say like you know, like you know, unsubscribe from them because you know, because some people might like not even use YouTube anymore, like none of the accounts. Um, yeah, they should not have a dog anymore, or any kind of. Um, yeah, they should just be kind of, you know, demonetized. They should, I don't know, pay like a fee or something like that. Um, cause, yeah, it's just, I mean, these people are kind of like pieces of shit. They're like, I mean, they're basically kind of, they're like, yeah, so, I mean, just, I mean, they literally did like a photo shoot with a dog, like, inches away from the toddler that it bit. And then they said, oh, yeah, so, uh, we're still going to kill it. Yeah. Thank you so much for listening this far. Yeah. Uh, please like the video, share it, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, probably going to be making some more videos soon. Uh, bye. <laughs>